Send a gift to someone you love with your very own personal greeting with this cute 15-inch recordable bear with a preserved rose, mug, a jar of honey, chocolate, tea, and tea accessories. Hello, welcome. Today is January 23rd, 2024, and I'm here to do our weekly check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So I hope you all are doing well. And as I'm recording this, I'm getting a bunch of distractions. Um, so yeah, I'll have to figure out how to turn stuff off. <laughs> So I hope everyone is doing well. And um, yesterday I was supposed to do the collective reading, but um, I did Pisces. So I apologize for skipping, but I feel like maybe it was necessary um, for me to put out the Pisces reading um, as opposed to the general collective. And so let's go ahead and see. What is the collective masculine energy is like towards a feminine energy? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change my perspective. Okay. Barry, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to our Divine Masculine Collective? Please channel the energy and vibration of Divine Masculine Collective. What is their current energy? When it comes to themselves, possibly towards the feminine energy, but... Um, please reveal to me what is the current situation with masculines at this time. Thank you. Okay, first we have divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, supernatural, and karma. Also, we have liquid courage, bravery, confidence, intoxicated odd behavior. And finally, spiritual awakening, enlightenment, epiphany, life lessons, and rebirth. Bottom of the deck, we have ex-lover, memories of the past, old flame, nostalgic. Man. <laughs> so this week, what I'm seeing is that masculines, they're, they're looking at their relationships with the karmic. Okay, do you see that there is this cracked photo frame here? I really feel like uh, masculine and the karmic, they're not doing so hot these days. Okay, um, they are thinking about what once was. Now things are not the same. Okay, there is divine intervention, something that is uh, preventing the masculine to possibly really open up towards the feminine. Okay, um, I'm also seeing here liquid courage. You know, I'm getting mixed vibes coming from this. For some of these masculines, yeah, they're, they're, they're boozing it up, okay? Uh, I'm not going to lie, I see it. Um, but on the, on the same token, they know that they have an alcohol addiction and they know that they need to clean up their act. Okay, they, they're learning to really have the confidence to own up that they're self soothing. Okay, and something has happened to, to wake this masculine up with this spiritual awakening. 
Now they're starting to see their life lessons, the reasons why the situation didn't really work out between them and the karmic. And they're going through a rebirth. So I really feel like for this week, they know they need to get their stuff together. Okay, I, I keep uh, feeling like um, cleaning up their act. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. So let's go ahead and see what else. Spirit, how does the masculines currently feel towards the feminine? Because I really feel like if the masculines are not really immersed into the feminine's existence, right? Um, or let's just say like some of the time, not full time. Uh, I really feel like they are thinking about the karmic. Okay, I'm not going to lie. But let's see. How does the masculines currently feel towards the feminine? Abandon. Please don't give up. Okay. Um... You know, obviously, there was that third-party situation. So, maybe they're trying to find the courage to open up. Okay, maybe they have to drink a little bit to take the edge off. So, they have the courage to open up and communicate. Also, we have Fertile. I want you to be the parent of my child. Okay, so for some, you guys may have been pregnant with each other. For some, you guys had children outside of the relationship and um, they want to know if you would be open, okay, to parent their child that they had with the karmic, okay, and vice versa. Maybe I'm talking of the feminine that's watching this. Oh, <gasps> finally, we have marry me, wifey material, fulfillment. So... I really feel like, you know, obviously this is a situation where grass wasn't greener on the other side. Um, they don't want you to give up on them. Um, they don't know if you'll take them back. Yeah, they chose like a, a karmic over you, feminine. But now they, they really want to know, would you spend the rest of their life with them? Because this, I don't say this shit didn't really work out with the karmic. Okay. I clearly saw that they did choose the karmic over the feminine, but obviously that didn't last very long. Okay. And what I'm feeling is that there's this unconditional love that this person has with the feminine. And they realize that you're wifey material. Okay. You, you check off every, you know, block that this person could ever think of, of having a, an eternal partner. Look, we have number 11, completion. We will always be one. So I'm not going to lie. This person wants to come back. <laughs> you complete them. Okay, they realize this. With or without you in a physical way, spiritually, they're, they're awakened. Okay, they're awakened. Okay, they learn through divine intervention. They went off, okay, to the, uh, you know, to the karmic path okay it didn't really work out the uh, the other thing i'm also getting is that the this ex-lover it could also be you feminine you could have been like their so-called ex-lover okay and it's taken them some courage to really open up about how they truly feel okay yeah they learned those life lessons now you know there's like this confession i feel Okay, that this person had always felt like you were the one. Okay, after a period of time. I don't think that this was like a week off. Okay, and then now they come to this revelation. No, I really feel like there's been a considerable amount of time uh, apart from one another where they actually went off to karmic land. Okay, and realized that, okay, after some time, um, it kind of fizzled out. When the flame was always burning with you the whole time. 
So let's go ahead and see what is the energy like. Let's see. So Sparrow, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to the person who is connected to feminine energy and a spirit? Can you please reveal to me well, how does the feminine feel towards this masculine? So I would like to pull in from both sides so we can get like, you know, the vibe coming from uh, both parties, right? And also this could be within yourself doesn't have to be separate from you this could be like an inner knowing so spirit can you please reveal to me a masculine and feminine energy in this collective experience this collective consciousness thank you okay so we have your ten of wands and they are struggling okay um, they need help, and uh, this is about, like, their core values. This is about traditional relationships, okay? Um, and they don't want to do the same thing over and over again, okay? So they want to free themselves. They, they want to experience this pure bliss, this happiness once again, but they don't feel that um, it may ever come into fruition. They're a little bit uh, upset because they don't know if they should pursue this connection with you, feminine. So for some, they're playing it safe. They're holding back. Okay. Um, but they understand that they need to move on from the situation. For not being their their best. So this feels like masculine had settled for a karmic. And let's just say that they thought that they would have material uh, security or stability with the karmic person. And it's not. Okay. They settled and they realized that the karmic was a gold digger. Okay. They were just in it for materialistic reasons. And what I'm hearing is that you were the true gold of feminine. <laughs> They weren't, they weren't honest with themselves. They went for, for the quick and easy, right? So there's karmic justice. And they're learning, okay? Again, this is about life lessons. Also, this is uh, justice, Libra energy. And I still have uh, yet to do Libra. So that, that might be your reading next, Libra. I have, let's see, where are the two signs left? Libra and Virgo. So, I really feel like there, there's something that is actually happening with this collective where you can't bullshit yourself anymore, you know? Like, the reality is is coming to, to light, you know? Um, what is your truth? Are you willing to change, finally? You know, um, nobody said it was going to be easy to make those changes. So what I'm seeing is that um, there's a sense of clarity here about letting go and opening up about how guilty that they feel or how much shame that they have by not really being their true authentic self. Why? Because of ego. It's because of their personified uh, perception of who they are and what they stand for. They regret, they, they missed a bunch of opportunities to make things right, especially with you, feminine, but more so about themselves, like they kept living a lie. And they know that they didn't make the right decisions. You know, they understand that they're a bit controlling and a little bit cold. And, um... They just really didn't feel like they were good enough for you. So here's the thing. I mean, I really feel like there's a lot of reasons why the masculines chose the karmic over the feminine. And obviously, it's because the karmic was just the easier choice. You know, and maybe they, they got blinded by 
I don't know, whatever it is, everyone's situation is different. And that's the reason why they chose the karmic over the feminine. But now over some time, okay, because I really feel like this is a karmic contract and it's very similar to the Pisces reading that I did yesterday, that masculines are starting to learn that, you know, maybe, you know, this divine intervention was necessary for them to really wake up about love was this love or was this like infatuation or like a dream like, like i don't know a facade yeah there was unfinished business here like perhaps they went back and forth between you and the karmic and then finally they chose the karmic over the feminine but now like after they spent time with the karmic they're starting to see that you know, it, it just wasn't, there was something missing, okay, is what I'm hearing. And, and that's why, uh, you know, this masculine really feels that you are wifey material. Like you are the one that actually checked off everything. You know, I really feel like uh, the karmic was a burden, like, um, you know, maybe they were all about the money. You know, they want you to really be the parent of their children. You know, maybe they want to have kids with you. Maybe the karmic didn't want to have kids. Okay. Um, yeah, they don't want you to give up. You know, we will always be one. Like this person wants to come back in more ways than one. <laughs> so let's see. So... The masculines, okay, they understand that they were holding back their feelings. They regret um, that they left the feminine, okay? For some, um, they want to tell you the truth, okay? They weren't able to do it before. For the feminines, okay, um, you, you want to have a new beginning, okay? But you want, you want a confession, you want to know what what happened because I have a feeling like for the feminines that's watching this, you didn't really have closure, or you you never really quite understood like the choices and decisions that the masculine has made to leave a feminine uh, for the karmic. So, how do you guys feel? Okay, so masculines, they, they know that they had to let go, okay? There's that divine intervention that we saw earlier, and it, it caused them to look at things from a different perspective, okay? This is about letting go, letting go of the past, letting go of, you know, the guilt, letting go of, you know, feminine or even the karmic, they were not feeling very stable. That's why they held on to the karmic. And for some, let's just say that they were actually married to the karmic before they, they met you, feminine, okay? So what I'm hearing, if that is your situation, they did it because uh, they need to feel stable, okay? They didn't have like a sense of security um, because they built a legacy with the other person, okay? And that's for some, that's not everyone's energy. But I feel like there, there was like a, um, there was some history there between the masculine and the karmic. Hence, we saw like the broken heart. Like, yeah, at one time, you know, they were deeply in love with each other. But over time, you know, money got in the way. Okay. Could be kids. Maybe, you know, masculine was struggling financially, you know, and that person was their right or die, um, you know, individual at the time. So um, what I'm getting for the feminine is that you're the high priestess. You're using your intuition about learning to let go of how masculine had let go of you. You, you understand that the masculines were not stable. And if they weren't stable, they weren't able to offer you what you're looking for anyways. But I really feel like you have like this uh, overall understanding, okay, of the reasons why they did, you know, even though that you didn't get a full explanation from the masculine. 
So, you know, right now, masculines are not feeling very good. Okay. Um, maybe, you know, what they want with the feminine is unrealistic at this time because of how they left the feminine or how they, you know, uh, treated the feminine. Okay. But what I'm saying is that you are their wish come true. Okay. They really feel full. You know, you are their wish fulfillment. And for you, feminine, you know, I feel like you're you're setting up healthy boundaries. You don't want to take this person back if they're going to come in and leave again. Like, you know, you're done with that. Because for some, this is a repeat offender. This isn't the first time that they try to come back. Okay. But I really feel that, you know, the masculines, they, they understand that, you know, why, why should you take them back easily when, you know, they've left the feminine high and dry, you know, more, more times than not. Okay. So in the outcome, yeah, they're, they're stressed. They're stressed. Okay. They're looking, you know, towards the future, but feminines, you don't know. You feel like you, you've lost your sense of control over the situation with the masculine. Okay. Like you want to open up. You really want to be optimistic about uh, masculine. But, you know, in reality, masculine is still faced with this uh, sense of duality between you and the karmic. So I'm not going to lie. I really feel like the karmic energy is still uh, prevalent in masculine's energy. It's just a matter of when is masculine going to cut off the karmic, you know, and be 100% towards the feminine. But maybe for some, you know, maybe some of my feminines, you know, you've moved on. Okay. Or, um, you know, maybe you have a wall up. Maybe, you know, you put your guard up because you're not going to take, uh, you know, like a rebound from this masculine energy, <laughs> especially if they're married and they have someone else to go back to, right? Because that's the last thing that feminine wants to do is like be like the other person. You know, it just makes it so convenient, especially if the masculine is married to someone else and then feminine is just rarely available, you know, for the masculine if, if they want to. You know, that's why it hurts the feminine. You know, you don't know what to do because you do love them. But what you don't love is that, you know, yeah, they're still kind of stuck in a karmic situation. So masculines, okay, they're going through a lot, okay? So they're going through some healing. They're also doing self-improvement. They're working more on themselves. They're aware, okay? Also, they're working on their career, Okay, or their sense of employment. So let's just say that, you know, they weren't doing so hot for for some time. Okay, or they're going through a change in jobs. You know, they're really more hyper focused on themselves rather than um, a relationship because um, because of that, they don't know what to do. Okay, so they're distracting themselves from opening themselves up towards the feminine because they need to make sure that they're feeling stable. For you, feminine, you think that this masculine is rude, especially if they reached out and contacted you. And then it's like, well, well what the heck, you know, uh, are they coming back, you know, saying, you know, that they think that you're all this and that. And then there, there's no follow through. So I, f I feel like some of my feminines, you feel kind of lost. You don't know what to do, um, you know. Things aren't really manifesting. <laughs> so, yeah, masculines are really focused on reunion, okay? They really feel fated to be with you as, like, this happy family, okay? Yeah, they were stuck in the past, okay? They ran away. They felt trapped in whatever situation with the karmic. But more than anything, they want to, uh, you know, have, like, this extended family uh, with you, and feminine, okay, you're not feeling good about this, okay? It's like, how dare you, masculine? <laughs> I feel, I feel like for some of my feminines, there's this anger, uh, resentment, like how how arrogant, you know? Like, you know, now that you're done with the karmic, now you want to come back? Um, so I'm not going to lie. You really feel like the masculine is being manipulative. Um, it kind of like rubs you the wrong way. 
it could be a misunderstanding. It, it could be a way of how the mask guns are coming off. Like there's no finesse in, in the mask guns um, way of them talking about what happened in the past and how they want you back. But I really see that their thoughts are, are genuine. Okay. Um, they're, they're not like the most, um, I guess, uh, suave person. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but yeah, it looks messy. I'm not gonna lie. It looks messy and it, it's not like the dreamy romantic, uh, return of masculine. Okay, guys, <laughs> I hate to bust the bubble. <laughs> it's not like that um but i do see that they do want to work it out if there's like a way so they're working on their sense of stability they want to be loyal they want to reconcile and compromise, but I really feel like you're resistant because you don't know if the mask ones have completely ended it with the karmic. So here's the thing, okay? I feel like slowly but surely, they're trying to prove themselves to you, feminine, okay? Let them prove it to you, okay? And yeah, you can be stuck up for a little bit, you know? I mean, who? why, why should you be easy anyways? Mask ones, they have to earn their trust, you know, it was easy for them to come and easy for them to go. And so, like, why why should it be easy, you know, for, for you to accept, you know, when that's what you've been doing this whole time? And every time you do, you get hurt. So let this masculine prove themselves. Okay. Once they prove themselves, then yeah, I would say, okay, you know, they're they're doing their best to to win back their trust with you. And you will know it's there's no faking it. There's no half-assing it um, either. Like you will know when someone is generally putting in the effort because they will contact you on a daily basis. They'll, they'll make sure that, um, that you're in their thoughts and that they truly do care, okay? And if they're really working on like themselves, they're going to tell you about it. You know, they're going to include you in on their daily activities. They're not going to make you wonder like what they're going to be doing on a daily basis, like this person really wants to include you, especially if they want you uh, to be a part of their family, because that's what this person really thinks, you know, uh, for you, feminine, you know, especially if they want to have a, a compromise and reconcile. But, you know, I really feel like you're resisting, but that's okay. I really feel like you gotta be cautious. If you're not cautious about this person coming back and, you know, and, and they're a repeat offender, then you haven't learned. <laughs> that's that's what I have. So let's see. So what is their hidden truth? What is it that they're hiding? I'm starting to understand our connection. And I'm like, wow. You know, after how long? Is there another message, Spirit? The timing just wasn't right for us. And I know I've crossed that line. So they, they know. They know it's not easy to come back. Okay? They already, you know, burnt that bridge and thought they'll never come back. But here they are, you know, never say never. You know? That's what I have. So let's go ahead and see what is the guidance. So Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the guidance that you have for this collective? What is the guidance that you have for this collective? Thank you, Spirit. What is the guidance? What is the guidance?
hear you. Do you feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone? Or you might have no value. Maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done, be healed or be completed, etc. You may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome, but we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different, set that boundary, delegate responsibility to another, ask for your needs to be met, and when faced with an impossible situation or sticky and matched relationship, repeat this mantra, I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and it's not my job to cure it, then carry on. Feels good, doesn't it? The best part is everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so, so much. And that's beautiful. You know, if you're a fixer, you know, don't fix it, okay? Um... You know, really give it up to the universe, you know. Um, really just say, that's not my job, you know. Because I really feel like this is for those who, who feel like, you know, um, you know you've, you've told the masculine, you know, you don't want to mother them, you know. Um, especially if this masculine feels like a mother, you know, where they're always like trying to take care or even a father figure, right? Like always being the person who is providing, you know, um, and never catches a break, you know, because they feel responsible, you know, for X, Y, and Z. Well, how about this masculine, you know, um, you didn't cause it and you can't control it and it's not your job to fix it. Okay. And then carry on and 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 let go of the burden because remember in in the very beginning and i know that i've already you know did this to the cards but um we had it was where was it it was the ten of wands right it was the help card that came up on the bottom of the deck help you somebody here feels like they're overburdened with responsibility they feel stuck, you know, and let's say a karmic situation. And what is the karmic doing for you, masculine? Are they looking for a handout? Are they looking for financial, uh, you know, stability with you? It, has it become like more of a chore than a, a loving relationship? Do you feel obligated to stay stuck in that, you know, now that you've committed yourself, you know, to this person? You know, uh, and then really compare that energy with the feminine. Was the feminine ever in that energy of always being needy and codependent on you for financial freedom? Or was it always this loving vibration where it was just like two souls, you know, coming together and loving each other unconditionally? And I really feel like that's a lesson here. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpionmoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. And again, if you're interested in my lovely talking teddy bears, if you want to send a message of love or forgiveness um, around this holiday season, um, then yeah, go ahead and check it out, foxytees.com. Thank you all, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. <music>